Welcome to this Steagle video of how to use vertical grouping in new Google Sites. First of all, let's have a look at the capabilities that this offers. To use it, all you do is you simply move the tile you want to the top or the bottom of the tile you wish to vertically group with. Let's see that in action. We want to try and replicate from our classic Google Site the images being on top of the text and stay together when responsively designed. Let's see how we can achieve this in new Google Sites. We have our image already there and we have some text. And all we do is move the text tile. And as you can see, when we drag it to the bottom of the image, you get the blue line to show it will group. Once released, we see that this is now one object. This also works as you add new items. So if we go to add a new image, And then if we go to add a textile beneath that, the textile is automatically grouped. This means as we go to add some text, this is now one object that moves together. This means when we look in the mobile preview, we can see that those objects stay together. You can group anything. For example, you can put a text title on top of a Google Drive folder. Let's see that in action. So as you can see here, this is our Google Drive demo of how to use this with new sites. And we have a separate section with the headers above the example of the folder embeds. Again, if we look at this in mobile view, we'll see because they're in separate sections, they get disconnected when responsively designed. The titles are together and the embeds are together. But now we have vertical grouping. We can grab the text we want and group it to the top of the Google Drive embed. And this means when we look in the preview, in the mobile view, these will now be connected together so the list view title is with the list view folder and the grid view title is with the grid view folder. There are some limitations with the approach that Google has used. The biggest is all the tiles will resize to the same width. Let's see how that works. We want our icon here to sit above our text tile here. So we'll grab the icon and we'll group it at the top. But as you can see, the icon immediately goes to the same size as the text tile underneath. Ideally, what we want is to be able to move the icon, group it, and it to be a different size. So how can we achieve that? You may be able to achieve this by adding padding to images. What do we mean by that? But if I look at this image in Google Drive, we can see here there's a great deal of transparent padding either side of the icon we want to use. If we go back to our new Google Sites example, we can show that because we have that padding, we can change the height of the image and that will allow the padding and the cropping to take effect and for it to be a sensible size. If we do this on an image that does not have the vertical, the extra padding, we'll find that as we make it smaller, it just crops the image instead because it does not have the transparent padding either side to help it resize. We hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. And you can find more new Google Sites videos at steagle.com.